Alright, welcome to the video. This is my second week of my 12 week prep from Panama City Beach, Florida. Everything is going great. Just checking all the boxes. Um, had a great, great training week. Um, this is my last uh, training day for this week, Sunday. Um, hours run probably working some race pace work um, just real easy chill first week and then next week of course we'll ramp it up a little bit more but yeah now I gotta get on this run and get it going so the prep this week is going to be very busy um, there's so much to talk about haven't really decided yet what I want to talk about so I believe when I get back on here after this run, I'll have some clarity. Remember, running, cycling, swimming, any kind of calisthenics, cardio will definitely put you in the right place in your mind. That scholistic is powerful. Let's get this run knocked out. Whew. All right, I'm back from that six miler, a uh, little under an hour. About an eight, nine minute pace. A little bit of race work in there. Nothing spectacular. Uh, went to a race game last night and ate a corn dog and some fries and it did not end well. So I know better. I should have just not ate anything and just toughed it out. Maybe got just a Sprite or something. So about halfway in my run, had some GI issues. Took care of those, uh, got cleaned up and pushed on. So I guess the only good thing to really talk about is nutrition. Nutrition and health and you know, I hate to say the, the way you diet, I would say the way that you choose to eat the right food when you're in a training block. Um, I figured a corn dog and fries, that wasn't the end of the world. Uh, I did have a total of six days hard training and then I was gonna finish up today with the the seventh day and then move on to week two of my prep but it didn't work out like that now I did finish the workout so I'm very pleased with that so let's just take a moment and let's break down everything I eat during the week so Monday, start the morning off with two strudels or two waffles just to get some kind of carbs in me. Um, and then I'll do a carbohydrate, uh, 20 ounces, knock that down. And then I'll do a protein drink of some sort, whether it be chocolate milk, um, just any type of protein um, drink. And then about nine ten o'clock I do four eggs bacon and then between 10 30 and 11 I'll do a cup of oatmeal just to get me you know past that little slump uh, then around one o'clock no later than two o'clock I'll eat anywhere from six ounces of turkey which is kind of hard you wouldn't think eating six ounces of turkey is hard but it's it's definitely a little tough to get it down uh, mix a little rice um, or I will do uh, chicken, six ounces of chicken. Chicken is very good. Um, I do a lot of the Purdue, and I also do a lot of the Greenwise, which is a lo local company in town, uh, Publix. You may have heard of it. Huh. So moving on. Um, definitely trying to eat past, you know, five, six o'clock. Uh, eat before the sun goes down for sure which is around 8 o'clock and then that will consist of typically chicken turkey um, 6 ounces and then a cup of rice and then I will finish the night off about you know 9 10 o'clock with a bowl of cereal uh, skim milk uh, one cup and then one cup of it's like honey bunches of oats. It's got a lot of oats, a lot of protein. It's really, really good for you. 
some berries in there, um, depending on what kind you get. So yeah, that ends it off, and then get to bed no, no later than 10.30, and then get up at 6, and do the same thing for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And before you know it, you got a very nutritional worker eat. Now, when you're on the bike, uh, you need to do a goo every 45 minutes. So if you do four hours, that's four goos. Try to start the session uh, five minutes before and then do your first goo. And then basically every hour do at least one goo. It's pretty easy. And then get lots and lots of water, um, any kind of salt intake, uh, any kind of carbohydrates, just anything that you can get in your gut that will not give you any kind of gut issues because that is tough. So yeah, I want to just talk about nutrition. Um, that makes a good video. I hope that a little bit of craziness that I do in my life that works for me works for you. I know that it doesn't work for everybody. I get that, but you got to start somewhere, copy somebody, use their information, and then make adjustments. That's the best thing about YouTube and any kind of social media platform. You don't have to use what they use. You can use what you like, what works for you. And remember, if you run weird or cycle weird, that's you. Don't change the way you run because you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't change the way you ride or you're gonna hurt yourself. Now swimming, it's a little different, it's just water. Um, I have tweaked my swim a little bit and I feel like it's helped me a few seconds on my 100. So that I'm not gonna preach on too much. But the bike and the run, it's definitely a plus to keep your form. Unless you got some kind of professional coach and he says, oh, hey, change this, change that, and you won't hurt. But somebody like on YouTube's, don't. Yeah. Just run the way you run. You might look weird. And then walk the way you walk and talk the way you talk. We'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Happy Sunday. I'm taking the video! Okay.